Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a complex system. We have z squared minus zw equals 1 plus 7i and w squared minus zw equals negative 4 minus 3i. And we're going to be solving for Z and W. Z and W are complex numbers. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a playlist. I go over the basics of complex numbers, starting with the definition. And we'll use that definition in one of our solution methods. I'm also going to show you some algebraic methods, which I believe are really, really cool. Great. And if you know of any other methods that I didn't mention here, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. And also, if you like complex numbers, then you can go ahead and check out my other video on my other channel, which is CyberMath. And I made a video about x to the power x equals zero, which is actually a video response to black pen, red pen. Anyways, go ahead and check it out. Now we're going to look at this system. So to be able to solve this system, I'm going to be using probably at least three methods. And let's start with the first one. For my first method, I kind of want to do what is typical, what I usually use for these kinds of equations. Remember I told you that I was going to go over the definition, right? So z equals a plus b i is a complex number if a and b are real numbers and i is the number whose square equals negative 1. You can also look at i as one of the square roots of negative 1 because negative 1 has two square roots in the complex world. And the complex world is a very interesting world, okay? So you can go ahead and dive in by watching other videos uh, that I made on this channel. This channel is totally dedicated to complex numbers. I do not know of any other channel that is completely dedicated to complex numbers. If you do know one, please let us know. Anyways, let's get started. So z equals a plus bi. That's a complex number. What about w? I need to use different letters because z and w do not have to be the same. We do not know. And if they were the same, I think we wouldn't have these equations, right? Because then we would get zeros. Make sense? Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and plug these in and see what happens. First, a plus bi squared minus their product. And I'm going to use this twice so I could that could help me with simplifying. That will be 1 plus 7i. I could probably just go ahead and work it out and then uh, deal with the second equation. That way I, I'm not kind of doing two things at once, sort of. This one is going to be a squared minus b squared plus 2abi and then minus AC, uh, and then we're going to get AD plus BC, which is kind of like a formula. AD plus BC, that's going to be our imaginary part, but I need to negate it because of the minus sign. And then finally, we're going to have um, B squared BD I squared, and that will be minus BD, what that's going to turn into a plus BD. Make sense? So we kind of have AC mi minus AC plus BD, that's going to make our real part. Make sense? And we want this to equal 1 plus 7i. From here, let's put the real parts together. a squared minus b squared minus ac plus bd. And then we have 2ab minus ad minus bc all multiplied by i equals 1 plus 7i. So allow me to just uh, go over uh, the first equation because the second one is going to be very similar. From here, you're going to get that this equals 1 and this equals 7. Trust me, this is going to be a very painful method, so we're probably going to leave it incomplete, okay? Because it's it takes forever. But why did I introduce it? Because sometimes you can use this method and, you know, it's always good to know alternative methods. That's, what, what, uh, that's my idea. So we got a system from here, but we have four variables and two equations, which means we need to do the same thing with the second equation, plug it in, you already know this product, plug it in and then set up a system of equations. Guess what? That's not going to be very easy to solve and I don't really have a quick way to solve it off the top of my head, but you can go ahead and give it a try and let us know how that goes. Even though there are four variables with four equations, it might be difficult to solve. But is it solvable? That's a good question because I haven't tested it out. If you can test it out, someone, uh, uh, that would be great. Okay? Being lazy here, I will proceed with the second method if you allow me to do it. Okay, please allow me to continue with the second method and please someone do the first. Okay, so for my second method, I'm thinking about factoring this expression. 
can I factor out a z from the first equation? Let me go ahead and rewrite equations in case you forgot them. w squared minus z, w is negative 4 minus 3i. So let's call this first and let's call this second. In the first equation, I can go ahead and factor out a z. That will give me z minus w equals 1 plus 7i. In the second equation, I can take out a w, and that will be w minus z equals negative 4 minus 3i. The right-hand side of the second equation is kind of too negative. Let's go ahead and negate it one more time. So multiply by a negative sign, turn these to plus signs. Nice. And then, of course, that negative, I want that to act upon this so that we can write it as w times z minus w equals 4 plus 3i. Nice. And then we can kind of write this as z times z minus w equals 1 plus 7i. Hopefully, you see where I'm going with this. I'm going to go ahead and divide these equations. And the reasoning behind that is very simple. I want to eliminate z minus w and come up with a ratio of w to z. Because this ratio should allow me to solve for w and z because I can plug it in, right? But guess what? If you divide two complex numbers, you get another complex number. Let's go ahead and find out what this is going to look like. Or could I use this as is? Yes, you can. Uh, you can actually directly plug this into the equation. You can even do the following. If from here, you can say, OK, I want w to be uh, k times 4 plus 3i. And I want z to be k times 1 plus 7i. And guess what? In one of these equations, you can go ahead and plug in. How about the first one? z squared minus zw equals 1 plus 7i. Now I can go ahead and replace z with k times 1 plus 7i. Of course, I have to square everything, so square, square, minus z, which is k times 1 plus 7i again, times k times 4 plus 3i. And that's equal to 1 plus 7i. From here, you should be able to find k. Therefore, that should give you the answer, which is kind of cool because these numbers are kind of proportional. But does that mean k is a real number or uh, even a rational or an integer maybe? Let's find out. So after distributing everything, I could probably just pull out k squared. And then when I square this, I'm going to get 1 plus 14i minus 49. And then the product is going to give me 4 and then minus 21, that's going to be a negative 17, but you're going to negate it, plus 17. And then I should be getting something like 3i plus 28i, which is 31i, and that should be a minus sign as well, right? Because we're negating because of this minus sign. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. But here, we should be able to find k squared from here. Uh, 18 minus 49, that's going to be a negative 31, right? And then this should give me minus 17i, and that's equal to 1 plus 7i. Looks like k is not going to be a real number. It's going to be a complex number, probably. And then I just need to divide on square root. Again, this is too long. Can I proceed with the third one? Because the third method is really awesome, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong on that one. So for my third method, if I leave this incomplete too, don't get mad at me because I don't want to keep this video too long. Now. I'm going to go ahead and add these equations up. That's going to give me z squared plus w squared minus 2zw equals negative 3 plus 4i. All right, great. And the left-hand side is z minus w squared, isn't it? Yes. Awesome. Now, I can go ahead and write this, hopefully, as 1 plus negative 4 plus 2 times 1 times 2i. And you know what that means? This is 1. This is 2i squared. This is 2 times 1 times 2i, which means this is 1 plus 2i quantity squared, which means z minus w squared is equal to that squared. This gives us two solutions. Remember that. Z minus w can be 1 plus 2i, or z minus w can be the opposite of 1 plus 2i. Guess what? We know z times z minus w, which is what? Okay, I forgot. Z times Z minus W. Remember, that was the first equation, and that was equal to 1 plus 7i. We know that this is equal to 1 plus 2i, at least for one of the solutions. So from here, Z becomes 1 plus 7i divided by 1 plus 2i. And then use the second equation to find W. The rest is easy and l is left as an exercise for the reader. 
And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.